New country, new bank. It was probably easier for the Portuguese to get into Brazil 500 years ago than it was for us. It took us, I think, three days to clear in going through such delights as this. This is the kind of place you see in movies where they do drug deals and things. Like these guys, their yellow cat is moored opposite. Not coming back here in the dark. Some countries make check-in so easy. You just walk along to the port and you wander amongst the dilapidated buildings, passing the security guards that don't pay any attention, complete with their guns and stamp-proof vests. And, oh, for fuck's sake, what a time this might have been customs, but long gone and locked up. Oh, and here was us criticising South Africa for this oh, mess. Our saga of trying to check into the Sifi, which is rapidly getting to the top of the charts of the most awkward place in the world to check into. We're at the Capitaneri dos Potos. We think. Downtown Cabanga, or Old Town Cabanga, not entirely sure. Downtown Recife. The theatre. The teatro. If you don't mind. We have no idea what this is. <laughs> it's a multi... Cuba. From Cuba, and then with a few pumps of chocolate. Here goes the diabetes. Ice, maybe? Nope, nope, that's the milk. So really it's a milkshake for chocolate. As far as I understand it, the Sifi was originally, or maybe not originally, but recently a very active port, but then it got silted up and other ports took over and unfortunately the old town has been somewhat neglected. As far as we know this is downtown or old town or Sifi with the few bits of original architecture around. Old pointy buildings and some old, some new and some a bit tired looking. Hopefully going to be refurbished, tarted up and made part of a an amazing cultural centre. And we still don't know what this guy is. I had just said that if some of the big money from Rio or whatever comes to retire here, they could take one of these guys, throw some paint on it, a bit of interior plumbing, and you get a nice pad, traditional pad. And then right behind us, the guys are busy at work, seemingly doing just that. Oh gee, who she picked up now? She's found herself a good looking guy at last. And the new meets the old, and I think soon to be refurbished. One of the main street cafe places in town. Anyone know a good electrician? 
Don't cut the blue wire. I love these things. You see it in every city around the world. Stunning architecture from hundreds of years ago. And then you get this stuff, you know? Architects born of the Lego generation. God forbid. So, had enough of the old buildings yet? And that's out to sea. Next day, we went a few miles north to the old town of Olinda. St Helena, that way. Harbour entrance, that way. Time Bandit, the way up there. And the rest of it is the city of Recife. This is the chef at work and we have no idea what it is. I think it's cheese. Tapioca flour. And that's with added strips of stuff. I think it's cheese. All untouched by human hands. And now it gets up of... Hello. Stuff. And I'll bet you that's spicy and that'll be eh, too hot. There you go, pancake. Oh, wow. <laughs> Tapioca and cheese. Tapioca and cheese, yeah. Mm. Um, and if you give it long enough, you could probably make a good saddle out of it. No, no, it's alright. It's a bit gritty. The tapioca is a bit gritty. <laughs> And that's the cheese. Quite nice. Very speciality of the region. Wouldn't you just want to be a whitewash salesman? And this is the Tobermory of Olinda. All the little houses nicely painted. And this little terrace dating from 1822. Old school. I mean, I you're needing a coat of this temper. <laughs> oh, no, Start care. again. <laughs> Start again. <laughs> if this was in Spain or Portugal, these places would be being listed for six figures. And the bigger ones into the sevens. Maybe not that one. Right opposite the church. All it needs is a congregation. It's not Ipanema or Copacabana, but it is Olinda. We stopped for cocktails on the beach and lunch. And then the non drinker is knocking back the rum and whatever it is. Gonna have to get her a taxi shortly. So here we go, dish of the day. Google Translate says that's mush. <laughs> Quite good description. Baggy me the boiled egg. And all of this for six quid a head. Not quite Indonesia or Malaysian pricing, but sits me. For all the YouTubers, this is living the dream. Predictably, the paperwork was wrong. So it's another trip back to the abandoned port to fill out more pointless forms and get a few stamps and cheese. And it really is a giant turn off. I mean, we're not going to Fernando de Noronha simply because it's such a pain in the ass doing this. And so having signed another bit of paper, no idea what it was, we said, this is Thursday, we want to leave on Sunday. So can we check out? No, we've got to come back tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. And so Brazil slips into first place for pain in the ass check in, check out. This is Sao Jose Market. 
where you can buy gourds or maracas or drums or clay pots or wicker pots or really all kinds of stuff. We were just looking at the dresses and the clothes, some of which I'm sure we saw in Malaysia and I thought there's something fishy going on here. Oh look, there it is. And now we're into the meat section. Now, about the marketing. <laughs> Shops seem to employ these collars. Who no doubt tell you about the bargains of the day. And why can they talk drivel for hour after hour? Most of the churches are sadly in a state of disrepair, but look, we found this one. It looks like it's open for business. I hope this shows up on screen because these frescoes were just amazing. Another in a long line of churches, right beside another 1960s Russian monstrosity. You gotta watch out for fast moving traffic here in Recife. You could get run down by literally entering. And look, another church. If you try and find your way round by following the churches, your snooker is a dozen zone. It's a noisy old place. Bring in some money and it'll look pretty good. If you don't, it's going to slip away from it, I think. $17.99 a paratodo. So you stick as much as you can on a plate, the length of this, and that's lunch at 20 past 11. Right, what have you got? Venhamos a com a gente, é sem balança e aceitamos cartões. Olha a hora do almoço no restaurante Casa de Pano. Venhamos a com a gente, pode ter que não. Eu acho que é um menu de conversa. Recentemente, ele diz que você pode comer um buffet por 18 local squidgers. Muito bom, você tem um taxi de 5 minutos de volta. Você vai de um extremo para o outro. The mall. Well, we've driven about half an hour out of Recife to... Where are we? Mm. Oh, Brennan. An Irish bloke who came here a long time ago who seems to have a, a fixation with tits and bums, if you'll excuse the expression. Uh, other than that, I've got no idea what this is all about. See what I mean? These places are just lost in me. Caviar before swine and all that. But geez, it's just some guy on the wacky backy, coiling away his day. Must be bonkers. I mean, really, what's going on? They like their politics here in Portugal. I can um, just imagine a whole bunch of boaters going up the Thames. 
Oh, let's trust, let's trust. Jesus. The city is a city of high rise living. It's also a city and indeed a country where extreme poverty prevails, unfortunately. Maybe the new politicians in town will help sort that out. The dockland from days gone by. And the church or a spire. Don't get the point of that. So if you made it to the end, well done. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give us a big thumbs up. Time for us now to leave Kabangar Marina and head north for Suriname. Come and join us.